Howdy folks and welcome to episode 3 of Project Lean Fit That Monday morning once again, start of week 2 And as you saw, decent weekend And a little bit later on I'm going to be sharing with you How I am tracking my progress when it comes to my weight and my nutrition There's just one thing I want to share with you this morning Which is three processes that I'm doing daily to help me towards my long-term outcome-based goal. Process one, making sure that 80% of my nutrition comes from wholesome foods and is tracked. Now, I'm going to be showing you how I track my nutrition on a daily basis, but making sure that your choices, you make these conscious decisions when it comes to your nutrition, and 80% of your nutrition comes from wholesome foods and is tracked. Process two, making sure I get some sort of daily activity in every single day. Now I wear a Fitbit, so my target is to get a minimum of 10,000 steps in a day. That's something I can tick off every single day once complete and do that every single day. It will accumulate to a better and more of a deficit when it comes to my calorie expenditure. And the third and final one is a simple one. Drink more water. I drink a minimum of two liters of water a day. And that is something which I can just tick off once again. These three processes I tick off every single day. And this is something that you can bring in. So then it stops you from just focusing on that outcome-based goal and thinking how much weight you have to lose every single day and every single week. Focus on them three processes done daily and you'll start making process, progress. I promise you that. So hopefully that uh, helps you out there a little bit. And uh, like I said, I'll catch up with you later where I'm going to share how I'm tracking my progress and potentially how you can too. So I will catch up with you a little bit later on. So as I mentioned this morning, just want to share with you how I'm tracking my progress when it comes to nutrition and my weight. Now the sheet I'm about to show you may look a bit confusing, but it is really, really easy. When it comes to my nutrition, nice and simple, all I'm doing is using an app called MyFitnessPal to track everything that I'm eating. It's an electronic version of a food diary on my phone and it's nice and easy to input and tell me how many calories I'm consuming and how many carbs, fats, and proteins I'm consuming. What I do then is, is input it into the sheet I've made here, and that gives me an average for the week. Now I have daily targets when it comes to my calories and macros, but what I do is work out the average for the week um, when it comes to my calories and macros, and as long as that average in lines with these targets, then I am happy. It just allows me to be a little bit more flexible and allow me to you know, potentially eat a little bit more on a certain day, uh, and as long as it balances out throughout the week, then it's fine. And that's what I did last week, which I'm just about to show you. With my weight, I'm weighing myself every single day and taking the average for the week, exactly the same thing. Focusing on that average rather than the individual weigh-ins. Would I recommend you doing this? Potentially not, because it can play tricks with your mind. You know, you can go up a few pounds and come down a few pounds within a couple of days, and it all depends on many different things. Sleep, stress levels, the amount of water you've consumed, and the types of food that you've eaten. So it will fluctuate a lot throughout the week. So here's the, uh, the sheet that I am using. So as you can see here, this is my uh, weight inputs for last week. Dropped pretty much every single day. Um, dropped a fair amount over the week as you can see which is totally normal on week one but the main number I'm focusing on is that bottom number there 180.2 and that's my average so exactly the same next week I'll be inputting exactly the same and I will take the average and as long as the average is lower than it was last week then we're on to a winner and as we go across here this is looks like the, the confusing bit but trust me it's not these all the numbers that I've uh, I've taken from my fitness plan all my calories carbs fats and proteins consumed and at the bottom it gives me my average intake for the week and as long as that in lines with my target at the bottom which it pretty much does uh, it's only a few grams here off uh, here and there which is totally fine and um, then we're on to a winner uh, as you can see there, yesterday, which was Sunday, 
2,700 calories consumed. My target for each day is actually 2,500. But because I was a little bit lower on the uh, on the Saturday and lower throughout the week on certain days, I've balanced it out and actually come out pretty much bang on. And that's why I enjoy tracking my nutrition like that because you can have that little bit of flexibility. And as long as the average comes out the way it does, uh, it, you know, you're onto a winner. And all I do is my, if my weight starts to plateau, I'll just adjust things slightly. I'll drop carbs a little bit, maybe drop fat a little bit, reduce the calories slightly, or just input the amount of uh, exercise I'm doing. And you know, it's just a balancing game when it comes to that. So hopefully you found that useful. And like I say, it looks a bit confusing, but really, really simple way to track your nutrition and your weight. I'm going to be combining two days into this episode. So the next time you'll see me will be tomorrow, which is Tuesday, where I'll be going to hit a push session. So I will catch you then. So there we have it folks, push session smashed. Not the most inspirational workouts, I must admit, but short on time this morning and it got the job done. That's it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember to share, comment and like uh, so more people can see it. And please do feedback to me if you are enjoying these. But I will catch you in the next episode. Catch you soon.